and welcome. <laughs> and this is the fourth battle um, of our con campaign. Um, fourth battle of round one, I should say. And um, uh, we are actually at the top of the map uh, where the Brits are charging into um, Bayeux, the city of Bayeux. And we will have our first three versus three uh, uh, fight in this um, this campaign. I'm just loading up the map now. Um, the The, the players are actually players one, two, three, the army group one, two, three of every faction of the German faction of the Brit faction. And uh, um, uh, the first army group is, let me bring it up here. Yes, I have the game. We're about three minutes to start. Um, and yes, charging into Bayeux is um, on the British side. We have um, El, El Ribster, uh, Spoon, och Jan, uh, uh, Jan, Ribe, Jan Ribe, Spoon och Emperor Davidus. Um, and the Jan Ribe is, the, is playing the British 50th in Infantry Division. Uh, and the Emperor Davidus is play, playing as the British 8th Armour Brigade. And both of these players may use their doctrines. So they have, uh, since they are main players, so they've selected their doctrines. And uh, Spoon is a supporting player <coughs> coming in. Uh, he's actually representing the um, supporting elements from, from one of these factions. And on the German side, we have only one main player, actually. Um, and that is Matthias, who has Ostroppen, elite troops and mobile defense. And he is representing the <coughs> 716th Static Infantry Division. Um, um, which is um, stationed to defend Bayeux. Um, and then we have Flambard and Action Villain, who are not allowed to have any um, any doctrines or oh yeah. See you Mycket bra. Um, well, let's see here. We have the... Fifty seconds till we begin. On the right hand side of the Germans is Matthias. And then uh, we have Flambard and action villain on the left side. Um, alone on the right flank of the Brits is Spoon. And then on the other side, the, um, the British left flank, we have 
Jan Ribe and Emperor Davidus. So this will be an interesting fight. 10 seconds till we begin. <coughs> Excuse me. And we are off. In every one of the games before, the, uh, <coughs> the Brits have rushed the middle with MGs and pretty pretty fast, set, quickly set up uh, um, strong points in the middle of, of the map. So this is a very large map, as you can see. It's the, uh, supposed to represent the town of Bayeux, but it's actually the map of Carentan that we're using. So let's see. First, <coughs> rushing now is actually the is actually the Germans who are rushing in, building MG42s from Matthias. And we have some Sturm pioneers from Flambard who is rushing forward along some Volksgrenadier. Uh, and Action Villain is making MGs. Here, the first engagement. Actually, we have the. The pioneers engaging the. Um, the pioneers of Matthias are engaging the Tommies of uh, Emperor Davidus and actually winning this fight. They're close uh, what, and ed eliminate, eliminating the first infantry section. I'm so happy to see this actually because it's been s such a tough time for the for, for the Germans in in the, in the other fights. Sturm pioneers taking position in the church. Uh, the Vickers was prob probably going in there and actually getting taking a lot of damage in the first round. And he is almost uh, dead. That Vickers, some grenades going in. Well, really strong start for the Germans. Um, 716th Infantry Division is doing really well. Yeah, the Wickers goes down. Look at that. Look at that. Another Wickers is taking position in this house, uh, overlooking the church. So the roles are reversed. The, the Germans have actually charge the the center you can see the folks grenadier fire at this vickers is al already very low health the germans seem to be ignoring the left side completely but all the heavy fighting is here in the center and that now they're back capping their territories they have not yet connected their uh, their fuel or their other territories <clears throat> another unit seemed to have gone gone down for the brits yeah another vickers goes down here two vickers have gone down and the Germans are controlling all the strategic points. But here, a Vickers is bleeding out in this building. Can actually not fire. It's in such an angle that it can't fire. Neither this, uh, neither this MG can fire. <clears throat> and now the Germans are connecting their territories. Now we hear the sermon of the MG42. Just one guy left in this um, MG squad. Vickers taking position on the streets and the false grenadier get out straight. Yeah, they okay, they're driven away. 
three MGs um, guarding the the right VP and a solid hold on the church. <clears throat> oh, we have an engagement over here and our artillery going in from um, Spoon. Yeah, and the Vickers is the uh, the German MG MG is getting out. He's changing buildings. Very nice. Very nicely done by Action Villain. This hero MG in the building is uh, unable to fire back from this uh, position. I don't understand why, really. Should, it looks like it should be able to fire back. There it goes down. <clears throat> Two Tommy sections are battling it out with the... Uh, an MG on the left side, the German left side. Here we will have an MG versus MG fight here in the house. Oh! Um, Spoon has built a universal carrier with a flamethrower. <clears throat> this is very good in the buildings here. He will be able to take take this side. Armored um, car um, coming up from Emperor Davidus. The MGs are going down to the combined fire of the... <clears throat> Here, another MG going down. Yeah, the Brits are uh, retaking the right-hand VP. All the three MGs of the, the German player have gone down. Yeah, mortar fire going in from a mortar pit over here from Jan Ribe. Yeah, the Brits are trying to retake the center but bleeding out here, um, battling this MG42. <coughs> The German players are moving up an MG on the left side. They put the Vickers in this uh, house here, flanking the MG uh, across the water. <coughs> They're sandwiching these troops. The Germans need to get out of the middle straight away, I'd say. Two armored cars from Emperor Davidus is uh, taking a pretty aggressive position on the British left side. Yeah, MG trying to fight it out with the armored cars, lost course, but the Brits are retaking the the VP on the left side, but this Vickers in the middle is, is, is in a pretty commanding position. Um, let's see if the Germans can bring up some mortar. Very heroic pioneer rushing the, <clears throat> rushing the house. Finally, the Brits take the center. They, <clears throat> they rush on one of the wickers into the church. The action villain is trying to move a mortar very far ahead. Maybe he should place it a little bit 
Yeah, in, in one of the backyards here. Maybe that's better. And he needs to reposition this Vickers. Another um, artillery flare goes down. But um, should be rather protected by this house, actually. Goes in, he jumps into the house just as the artillery starts to fall down. Let's see if this house will stand. Yep. Brits are retaking the middle. Big group of infantry moving up <coughs> against these armored cars here on the German right side. Very aggressive play from um, Emperor Davidus and his armored cars. We have two mortars um, battling it out here, but we have the, um, the, the the universal carrier again, receiving mortar fire and MG fire. Just gets away after dealing pretty nasty fire damage to these units in the middle. Vickers taking fire and. Uh, Huge minefield blocking this road. It's being laid up by uh, Spoon. <laughs> and what do we have here? Oh, a 17-pounder gun is being constructed by the Brits here, here in, in the middle of the city. Oh, <clears throat> this is a pretty, um, this is very nasty for the, the Germans. They really pushed back in the base here. They're building their heavy panzer core now. So let's see if this could solve anything, but they've moved up, they've moved up these um, two armored cars and taking the fuel right in front of the German base. And then they're building another 17-pounder gun in a in a forward position. I hear. <clears throat> Seven hundred and sixteenth Infantry Division are trying to push their way out of their base but these two very early armored cars are making it very hard for them and now we have artillery going down as well yep Looking pretty rough for the um, for the Germans on this side. Yeah, it's going to be tough for the Germans if they don't have their fuel. They have a fuel income of 19 per per minute and the British have an income of 54. Yep. See, pretty big concentration of Germans here uh, just to the to the west of the of, of the bridge but they have a problem pushing forward and uh, this this is pretty heavily defended but we see a tank a stug coming in on um, to support the the right side maybe this stug can make 
life a little bit uh, tougher for these uh, armored cars. Let's watch this engagement. <clears throat> it's action villain who's coming in to help uh, his teammate. Stug is coming in. Armored cars are getting the hell out of there. This is um, a minefield of death over here. This whole, whole side of Bayer is getting heavily fortified. Um, yep. Stug has taken position here. The, they should be able to retake the, the fuel at least. See the... Yep, we got a, the first crumble out for Emperor Davidus. He's playing very aggressive with his tanks the Germans ha have a nice force on this side now but um, there's artillery going in thrown by someone yeah uh, this is bad this is bad this is a big big group of infantry that's receiving the full force of the British artillery also an attack on the <clears throat> German left side goes in combined arms attack they are just push themselves forward and you see the artillery more or less annihilated the and they send it in <laughs> they're sending in this stug and there's a lot of mines here he's just by the mines he's just by the mines he doesn't know this but uh, the mines are there, the AT gun is just behind them. This is a pretty bold attack. I think this uh, Stug is pretty lonely here. Just needs to advance a little bit further and the mines will detonate. <clears throat> Stug. It's gonna is looking at a very short lifespan. There it goes. Oh, look at this. A 17 pounder guarding and um nice bunch of vehicles in front. Got some artillery, a panzer effort out from the from the Germans. Ooh, and the <clears throat> a British section, a British armored section is moving in, flanking the, the the Germans on on their left side. At the same time, as Emperor Davidos launches another armored attack. These infantry men are being cut to shreds, but at least they got one Puma. Um, from Flambard has built and he's got moving in some anti-tank at the same time he's rushing the the middle Pumas trading shots with the Cromwell. Ooh. These uh, three vehicles, the Cromwell and the two armored cars, are making short work of the pack. Good decision to bring up the pack, though, but. Um, and this. Uh, Another British player, Jan, has selected Royal Artillery. Yeah, he's the one bringing in all, all the artillery all the time. Some 
<coughs> Raquette and Bears first um, engaging the combo. Yeah, and it goes down. Oh, look at this. Um, Emperor Davidus um, <coughs> Cromwell have uh, pushed over the bridge. Another Stug out from Action Villain. Yeah. Um, and we have artillery going down. This should be the end of, uh, yeah, it is, of um, Emperor Davidus' little armor detachment. And the armored car gets away. Strug is chasing it across the river. Now the uh, Spoon's um, little armored column is, m is moving up. He loves his flanks, this guy. It's a very nice little detachment that moves in. Puma chases the, um, the armored cars, but the, my, it, the floor here is, the, the ground here is... Uh, <clears throat> Universal Carrier goes down. Other than that, the... Um, Yeah. More artillery going down. Yeah, on the mechanized regiment headquarters. Stug comes in and uh, engages this um, column there. But Centaur is killing out the Storm Pioneers. The last one goes down there. Some Royal Engineers upgraded with the, to the heavy, heavy engineers um, upgrade or engaging this um, Mechanized headquarters. Little looks, it's moving up. Yeah, Ma Matthias has problems get getting out of his base, and the um, firefly moving up. <clears throat> It goes down. German Firefly lost in battle. The Puma has gone down to the north. Yeah, looks like the Brits have a solid grasp of this game. The enemy have 75 points left. Strug is um, flanking the Cromwell and the Centaur. Maybe it can finish them off. Yeah. Cooks up the Cromwell, might cook up the um, the Centaur too, but it, now it's down to pretty low health, and we we have a um, Churchill moving in, one shot, and the uh, Stu goes down. Another Cromwell moves in. Well, it's taking fire from from the in the rear armor here. The 
Yeah, another combo goes down. Perimeter overwatch from Jan on all friendly sectors. <clears throat> this um, pack gun is getting annihilated by the um, armored car detachment. These armored cars have been really good in this battle. Following up with, with another Cromwell. And there we have it. Well, really good start for with the Germans. Um, but the Brits followed up and uh, brought in indirect fire uh, and could could retake the, the center. There was some awkward angles on the MGs up here, which I felt was uh, was weird. I haven't seen it on this map before, although I played it a couple of times. Um, maybe a better position for the MG would have been this house, actually. I think that would have been better. Um, yeah, but in the end, as you can see, they uh, the Brits boxed the Germans in pretty severely uh, and um, that was it and you only need um, three you you need uh, you need to keep a hold of your uh, victory points just your, your your victory points and the, it will tick down pretty fast if you're triple capped like the brits were in the end enormous minefields over here it's probably down to that um, uh, spoon uh, here he he could not choose a doctrine so the only thing he could use his uh, munitions for was uh, um, uh, was for mines and artillery um, and upgrades for his troops of course um, but uh, this push from emperor davidos on the british left side uh, and the steel of the fuel, um, I thought that was really good. And they even, um, um, they, they, they built to last because an armored attack on these, um, um, on this flank would have been fatal with this 17 pounder here and some mines. It would have been really tough for any tanks to, get, to go forward. And a 17 pounder or overlooking this street and, <laughs> You can see, what is this, 10, 15 mines? <laughs> and um, yeah, these minefields are just rid ridiculous. <laughs> well, well played, GG. Um, um, really good of the Brits to come back from that pin in the, um, in, in the beginning. Uh, well, that will mean that uh, if we look at the map, that Bayer uh, has been taken by the Brits uh, on the 7th of June, just as in the real uh, battle. Um, the day after the day, they, they stormed into Bayer and could overrun the resistance pretty, pretty easily there. Uh, well, thanks for watching. The campaign will, will go on. Uh, the... Um, Next step will be that um, we rearrange this map and uh, um, the uh, two faction, two sides can make their new uh, moves, uh, strategic moves on the map. And we're looking forward to another round of uh, battles. Thank you very much if you were watching and see you another time. Stay tuned. Please subscribe if you want to get updated when we go live again. Thank you, everyone.